Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're in the shed at the retreat location and what you're looking at here is one of my older 2 meter mobile radios my FT2600M connected to the PC here in the shed that I also use to control my security cameras and my lighting but this video is about how you can send radio email with your technician class license. A lot of my videos are focused around HF radio email or long range email but to do that you have to have a general class license but a lot of the viewers here on the channel who go out and get licensed get their technician class license and those videos may not be relevant but not necessarily so here I'm going to demonstrate how you can send an email from a 2 meter radio which you can do with your technician class license to the internet and that email is going to be received by my cell phone up here and where I think this is relevant for emergency communications and preparedness is not everybody in your family or circle of friends is going to want to go out and get an amateur radio license. But if you're in a specific geographical location and you lose communications but you want to get messages out to family and friends around the country or outside the impacted area, you want to have a means to communicate with them and also have a means for them to communicate with you and actually send email to your amateur radio station and you can do that with the winlink.org system and I'm going to put a link down below for that you start off by downloading a program called RMS Express and again there'll be links down below And if any of you guys have questions after watching this video feel free to shoot me a message and I'll be happy to help you walk through the process of getting it set up but you can do this with your technician class license and a 2 meter radio in fact, you don't even have to have a radio to get started. You can download RMS Express and use the Internet Telnet option. But the configuration I have here is an old desktop PC over here connected to a TNCX packet modem. And that's just around 100 bucks. I'll put a link down below for the TNCX. You can buy this as a kit and build it yourself and save a few bucks. Or you can buy one that's already built and tested. So the computer is connected to the packet modem, this TNCX. The TNCX is connected to the 2 meter radio. I'm in the mountains of West Virginia, but I'm going to make this radio link from here to a station in Maryland. That station in Maryland will go ahead and put this message into the internet, and then that email will be converted into a text message and come out on the phone. I don't have a camera person to help me out here. None of the comms prepper helpers are here in the shed. They're inside. But every cell phone number actually has an associated email address with it. So what we're going to do is create an email on the winlink.org RMS Express software and send that to the email address associated with the phone. In my case, it's an AT&T phone, so it's the phone number at txt.att.net. So I'm going to draft a quick message here in the RMS Express application. And again, I apologize, I don't have somebody to hold the camera for me. So I'm going to put the email address in there, and then I'm going to just type test. I'm trying to get this all done with one hand. And with the RMS Express program, I'm going to post that to the outbox. So the message is sitting in the outbox. I'm going to open up a session, a packet session, packet WL2K, which is the winlink.org system. We'll open that session. I'm going to connect to a station up in Maryland, WN3R. 10 and hit the start and now the packet modem will key up the radio and create a data connection so those two radios are communicating now and we'll send that message out with the RMS software that message has been sent the two stations will initiate a disconnect and the disconnect is completed and now we'll wait for that text message to show up on the phone it takes a couple minutes for the actual message to process through the winlink.org system momentarily you'll see that phone light up receiving a text message and there you have it so we actually sent an email from a PC in the mountains of West Virginia over packet radio to a station in Maryland the station in Maryland put that message into the internet and we received it on the cell phone that's a pretty powerful tool for emergency communications and preparedness it allows you to use your amateur radio license at the technician class level to maintain communications with family and friends around the world as long as they have a cell phone 
you can address radio messages to that cell phone or a regular email address and they can respond. In the winlink.org system, when you create your account, and that's free to create it, and again, I'll have the links down below, your email address would be your call sign at winlink.org. So folks with a PC or a cell phone could actually address messages to you and you'd be able to receive that over your radio with the RMS software. So I apologize if a lot of my videos are focused around HF radio. We tried to work in a little VHF radio here for you. But if you have a technician class license, you're ready to go with digital communications for not a whole lot of money. Again, the TNCX I think is around $100. I'll put a link down below and I'll insert a caption with the actual price. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper. We're out at the retreat location with another video on how you can maintain emergency communications with your technician class amateur radio license with family and friends who don't have a radio license. Thanks for watching, guys.